My name is Stan Yan, and I'm on Groovy TV at Mile High Comics. <laughs> hey, this is Groovy. I'm here with the amazing Stan Yan. We're at the Mile High Comics Mega Store. How the heck you doing, man? Uh, Kind of hot, actually. Because <laughs> it's brutal right now. It's like 190 or something. Yeah, they could use a little swamp cooler in here or something like that. You know, moisturize all the comics. <laughs> we should get like bags of ice and just wear them. <laughs> yeah. That's right, the little ghetto air conditioner, right? <laughs> yeah, exactly. The portable swamp cooler thingy. <laughs> <laughs> definitely, definitely. So you got, dude, you're, you're always so busy. You're, overachiever of the century you're always doing something crazy like tell me what you got going on um well yeah i i have until this point you know i i'm you know i always have like a million projects going on in the background but uh, it's just a matter of you know how much time to work on them so i just finished up with all of my uh mail out commissions from the denver comic con so they're all shipped out uh they should all get them if they haven't already got them by early this coming week okay and um uh, well, all the local ones should already have their mail outs. And then I'm getting ready for the San Diego Comic Con. So in between, I'm trying to squeeze in a little bit of uh, uh, promotional stuff for my children's book. There's a zombie in the basement. Which, which is awesome. I love this book. Oh, thank you. Yeah. It came out uh, earlier this year, but the official book release I'm going to make you know, a little bit closer to Halloween time. So okay. I'm trying to make the rounds and try to get a little bit of uh, media and blog coverage on it and everything like awesome. that. And then maybe schedule some sort of a, a, a book release party, maybe either in early September, or early in October, now that Mile High Horror Film Festival got postponed. How weird was that? Uh, that's kind of weird. I mean, it's exciting at the same time, just because I, I know that they were kind of uh, stifled by their limited space. Mm -hmm. So, you know, once they get the new location opened up, uh, hopefully that'll, you know, make it a bigger and better event. You yeah, know. I mean, I'm really excited for it, but, the, you know, like, you know, my first post on the Monday after Denver Comic Con was, okay, now it's time to focus on the LA Horror <laughs> Film Festival. Eh. <laughs> yeah. Well, but, you know, I mean, your loss is maybe my gain because <laughs> I, I do zombie caricatures so you know it's easy for me to get booked out for parties and I'm actually doing a zombie wedding this year wow. uh, as many times as people have threatened to hire me to do zombie characters their wedding guests at their weddings over the past few years someone finally did it and it's it's for sure because they you know paid me a deposit and everything like that so <laughs> that's awesome I, I'm pretty excited about that and when's that gonna take place um, the funny thing is it's on a Monday uh, yeah, believe it or not, it's on a Monday. You don't get married on Mondays. I'm okay with it, you know, because, you know, it's easy for me to fill the weekends, but that's, you know, leaves me open for <laughs> Halloween parties and birthday parties and things like that, so. <laughs> <laughs> Always working it, man. Always working it. Now, the, um, for the book release party, like, uh, where do you think you're going to hold something like that? I'm not sure. I mean, I've had a hard time uh, getting hold of the tattered cover. Um, I've been trying to reach them and reach out to them, and and uh, um, but also there's uh, my friend Craig Duster works at a gallery uh, in Lodo mm -hmm. that does a bunch of like entertainment uh, art and everything. I, and sorry, Craig, but I forgot the name of the gallery. But I've been talking to him, and he's talking to the owner about possibly doing it there. Uh, there's a couple of other locations and maybe possibly some galleries if I want to show some original artwork or something like that that uh, I'm toying with the idea of. So th those are a few things I'm, I'm trying to get nailed down before uh, I go to San Diego. So in San Diego is like in a week or two, isn't it? Uh, yeah, it's a couple of weeks from now, maybe a week and a half. I, don't, I should probably figure this out. <laughs> you could be on a plane tomorrow. <laughs> <laughs> well, no, we're driving, so. <laughs> And we typically drive out there because, you know, you can always find a, a good hotel rate in San Diego and then that, I don't have to worry about shipping stuff out through, uh, you know, through the uh, union or whatever right. out there. It's <laughs> good haul though. It's got to be 20 some hours, huh? Uh, no, no. It's, it should be about 16 hours depending on how many car accidents and wildfires we run into this year. 
<laughs> the wildfires to a minimum. Yeah, definitely. Yeah, I mean, we, we haven't had a wildfire uh, delay us before, but we had close brushes with them where they hadn't closed off the road and it, the, the fire was like about to jump the highway right where we were driving through. <laughs> I did that once. So the flames were hitting the car and everything. It was scary. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> no, we weren't that close. <laughs> Luckily, I was in a big old 4 by 4 It was awesome. <laughs> so what else you got going on here? You got the Vincent Price thing. Uh, yeah. So these were both uh, Kickstarters that I ran last year. And, you know, one of the things that, you know, if you want to do any sort of a post-mortem on the Denver Comic Con, which unfortunately was my least uh, profitable one to date, um, was it seems like year after year, big conventions like the Denver Comic Con, which are kind of built around celebrities and pop culture and not necessarily comics, um, there are fewer, fewer readers, you know? Okay. And so the hardest place I found to sell an actual book is at a comic convention. <laughs> you know, I sold a case of, of uh, these books at uh, Walker Stalker Con in Denver, which yeah, is... You were slam busy at that. I, I couldn't even, like, you were so busy, I was just like, ah, I'll leave Stan alone. <laughs> which was good, which was good. Um, and, you know, and the funny thing, uh, after that con, and I don't know if it was that one or Walker Stalker in Chicago, was I, I got, you know, normally I, I've got books that I self-publish on CreateSpace, and it's all my back issues and things like that. Okay. Um, but, you know, I might get a royalty check from them twice a year or something like that. It depends on which months I actually sell a book. Um, but in January or in June, I sold 22 books um, through CreateSpace, wow. which the only thing I can chalk that up to is people that, um, that got commissions from me at the uh, Walker Stalker, one of the Walker Stalker cons, he went to my website and bought books because, you know, retailers shouldn't buy full price. <laughs> it so, makes no sense. Yeah, I mean, because they were buying, you know, multiple copies of certain titles, so I know there's at least five different people on my website buying things. But, um, you know, one of the things that, you know, as I had mentioned, I noticed was that people aren't buying books at comic conventions. So, uh, over the past few years, I've been kind of tricking people into reading my stuff. So, when they get a zombie character, I've been throwing in a free copy of my Vincent Price comic because it's a, it's a story about me doing zombie characters of people at a comic convention. And so, they kind of become a part of the story. And so, of course, this past year, you know, I redrew it as a part of my Kickstarter. So, a bunch of my backers were able to get drawn into the book and everything nice. like that. And... Uh, so, um, you know, maybe, maybe it's succeeding now. People that have been getting drawn by me are reading the comic and enjoying my writing, um, you know, finding that uh, my little meta joke about them is, uh, is entertaining. <laughs> but, uh, but, you know, as, as much as Denver Comic Con, I feel like, didn't do a lot for me financially because you know I, I only sold 11 of my children's book there which was this was kind of a new big thing that everyone was expecting you know right. and uh, um, I, I did get a lot of uh, positive things out of it you know I had uh, educators come to my table that had purchased my book either through the Kickstarter or uh, from a store locally or on Amazon to tell me how much uh, they liked my book and, and what it does for children, which for me, someone that didn't, you know, go to school for child psychology or yeah. development or anything like that, it makes me feel really good that I'm kind of on a good track with this, That's with this really book, cool. you know. And, um, and then, I, you know, I've had people also stop by to let me know, you know, how much they enjoyed the Vincent Price book as well. Um, you know, people that you know, unwittingly had gotten a copy of it that uh, I had drawn and figured out that, hey, this is kind of what I went through, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> well, that is so cool. And you've got other projects going on too, don't you? Um, yeah, so right now, um, my next big project is uh, a memoir comic about my best friend's battle with cancer oh, yeah, called right. Regret. Right. Um, you know, during the con season, my progress on it hasn't been Sure. Real vibrant, but by this September or October, I'm hoping to have at least, uh, 
you know, 24 to 32 pages of it uh, completely drawn. The, the script is, is completely done and everything like that, but I'd like to have at least a, a saddle-stitched book to take around with me to help promote the entire, you know, 100-page graphic novel that will be coming out. Um, Hopefully next year. That's okay. that's my goal. Is by the end of 2017 to have the all the artwork completely done. Awesome. So, so cool. And uh, I'm sure you're even gonna have more projects on top of that. Uh, yeah. I mean, so a lot of the characters that are in my there's a zombie in the basement book are other types of monsters, um, including one that looks uh, oddly like you, really. Yes. <laughs> a centaur that. Uh, uh, in his, this book, he's he's just something that is is one of Milo's irrational fears. But I'm an irrational fear if I've ever met one. <laughs> That's right. You don't even need to puff up, right? <laughs> Puffy already. <laughs> so um, I've been thinking about this character for a long time, ever since Harry Potter came out, okay. and that one episode where uh, there was all those those centaurs running yeah. through the woods, and I was like. God, they all look kind of the same. They're all buff and chiseled. I'm like, where's the love for all the fat centaurs, you know? So, so I, um, I, I took a, a class at the uh, Dead Academy with Nate Hamill um, on creature design. And uh, so I decided to draw this obese centaur. And, uh, and then I just started coming up with all these stories for him. And um, so in one of the stories I'm, I'm writing right now, that's really an early concept stage. Uh, it's, it features a lot of these characters and I'm trying to write stories from the different monsters perspective. So the zombie girl in here is, is a character. The, uh, the, the centaur is actually the principal of the school, uh, the Salem Charter Academy, which is a, a school that was founded by witches, but in the spirit of diversity, they've decided to open doors to uh, all sorts of different monsters. <laughs> <laughs> and as you can imagine, you know, the population of the uh, zombies are um, spreading like the zombie plague, right? <laughs> so, but they, yeah, th this is something that I, I really figured out after this book. That's really kind of, you know, combines the best of all worlds because, you know, I've been reading my son a lot of middle grade uh, novels and graphic novels for bedtime stories and he's enjoyed them, I've enjoyed them uh, just equally right. and, and I, you know, even with books like Captain Underpants or whatever, there's a lot of toilet humor that I've been like holding back on that I, you know, it, it comes very naturally to me. So. <laughs> so why why restrain myself any yeah, further? <laughs> let that toilet humor flow. <laughs> well, in the end, you know, it's, this is all about my son anyway. You know, he provides me with all this inspiration, and apparently, I'm his uh, performing monkey to entertain him as much as I can. So <laughs> that's hilarious. So um, for people not in town and stuff, like where can they find you online? How do they like how do they order your stuff? And can they send you pictures to get? Some and yeah, stuff? yeah. You can go to my um, uh, website, which is stanyan.me. That's S-T-A-N-Y-A-N.me. Uh, if you're just strictly interested in getting a zombie character, you can actually go to zombicatures.com. So just look at the spelling on my sign there right. and put a .com at the end and it'll get you right there. Okay. Um, they can just send you a picture, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. absolutely. And um, although you will save a little money if you do find me at an event, my event rate is a little bit cheaper. As I mentioned, I'll be at the Denver Comic Con. Uh, through the course of the summer, I'll also be at the Denver County Fair. Uh, I'll be at the Fort Collins Comic Con. Um, and uh, I think we wrap up the summer at uh, NDK, which is the anime convention. Right. Which uh, is an awesome one. That's crazy. Yeah, yeah. And, you know, just looking even further out, uh, and hopefully past my book release party, I'll also be appearing at uh, Colorado Cosmic Con. Okay. And uh, and then Rocky Mountain Con as well. Awesome, awesome. Yeah, because uh, so, some of the other cons are getting crazy. Like they're they're launching too. It's nuts. Uh, yeah. I mean, it, it's a good and a bad thing because a lot of cons that I've wanted to travel to, I haven't had the opportunity because I want to support the local conventions, and they're becoming so numerous. Yeah. Um, 
and, you know, and it, it's good because there's less overhead for me to get there, you know, no, no travel and lodging costs. But on the flip side, I do feel like there's, there's a, a degree of cannibalization going over uh, the different cons where people that I see at every single one of these conventions already have my stuff, you know. Right. And so, you know, it's only so many times I can convince some of these people to get drawn up as a zombie. Although the funny thing is, I do have my regulars that if they see me, they're getting one, you know. <laughs> and I appreciate your business <laughs> tremendously. <laughs> That's awesome. Thank you so much for your time, man. You're very welcome. Cheers. This is Guru. I'm here with the amazing Stan Yan with his zombie catchers and cool books and all this other stuff. We're at Mile High Comics. Bye. Bye-bye.